fuck! No! Uh, the old man, I, uh... I, I don't know how to describe him, I mean... You said you thought he was stalking you at first. Did anyone else in your group think that? Well, yeah. <laughs> Is it possible they could have killed him? What? No. No, you, you, you don't understand. Don't you understand? If he attacked you... He saved my life. And I watched him die. I heard Jessica. I don't know how or why she was down there, but I know I heard her. He held it right up to my face. Right here, right in front of my nose, and he could have shot me. He almost shot me, the prick. I mean, you go out with a guy for however long, and you think you know him, but man, this one really takes the cake. I was right there, and I could have done something. I tried to do something. It wasn't good enough. How did you end up in the mines? I was carried and um, taken and... What did you see? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. He's out of his fucking mind. He wanted to hurt us, okay? And I thought he was the one who attacked Jess. I thought we were close. After his sisters disappeared, he'd come and talk to me. He said I was the only one who understood him. I thought, I thought we had a connection. If you need someone to talk to... I'm fine. Sometimes, after a traumatic experience... I said I'm fine. I... I stabbed him, and I tried to get away, but I didn't know. I swear I didn't know. Didn't know? Who did you stab? Oh, I, I, I stabbed the maniac. I didn't know it was Josh, but then he was the psycho, and how was I supposed to know Josh had all the sauce and the gun and all? Where's Matt? Is he okay? Are they done looking at him? I'm just a little worried because, you know, I'm his girlfriend. Did he tell you that? I mean, I probably wasn't his favorite person there for a couple minutes, but he knows how devoted I am to him. He knows. He, he said he knows, right? Your friend Ashley, she told us she tried to help you. <sighs> she said she heard you calling out. Not me. Mike. What do you remember? He came for me. He did. Came for you? Where is he? Did he make it? You need to listen to me. I don't care if you believe me or not. It doesn't matter because you will. You need to go down to the mines. What's in the mines, Sam? I've seen what's down there. And I'd give anything to unsee it. ago, my grandfather hunted those possessed by the curse. But there was one that eluded him. The fiercest of all, the Makapichu. It was a terrible thing, and my grandfather could not defeat it. Sometime after, the prospectors came to mine this mountain, 
until a cave-in trapped the men and woke the curse again. And there were dozens of men, no food, no light. And in that blackness, the hunger came. They were consumed by their abominable cravings and driven mad. Murderers, cannibals, eating human flesh. And if you kill this monstrous thing, the spirit is released and swirls the mountain like an evil wind waiting to possess again. You best not kill them, I have tried. You can only trap them, taunt them with fire. And after all these years, after many moons and many hunts, the Machapichu still roamed free, out of my grasp, beyond my reach. Until one night, a year ago, I was finally able to get him in my sights. But we were not alone in the woods that night. While I was tracking the Macapichu, it was tracking something else. The Macapichu forced your friends over the mountain. There was nothing I could do. I couldn't save your friends, but I could avenge them. I hunted the wind to go down and I doused it with fire. The Macapichu was dead.